Okay, let's see now how we can access uh, parameters and search params inside the client component in the in the server component. So uh, here I have in my app folder, I can create a client folder. And inside this, let's create an ID. Uh, let's create this and let's see this uh, not page. Let's create a folder and uh, let's save this to ID. And inside this ID, let's create uh, a page.t6. Now uh, let's create our function export default a function. Let's say client ID. and uh, let's give return uh, let's give this and uh, let's give a div of client id client id and uh, let's give the id but now let's uh, leave it here and let's create another id which is div client search params or search id now uh, in order to access the id first let's save this uh, it is running uh, now after saving this in order to access the id and the search id inside the client component you can use use params and use search params but if i use this uh, as a server component it will give me an error let's show you that uh, now let's show you conist params equals use params and uh, again conist search params uh, yeah search params equals use search params and uh, let's save this and now i can access params.id directly here params.id which is the id of this uh, which you can get from the url of uh, the page and also i can access the search params but not like uh, params.id instead we can use a function like this search param search params dot get and uh, we can specify the search name of uh, the search url so in this case let's give it a new or you can type anything you want and uh, it will parse all the elements but now if i go to the client component let's go here and let's show you if i come here and uh, go to client slash uh, let's say this one it will throw an error because it is a client component it is a, a server component but we are using use params and you can see use params and use search params are all used inside a client component so we can turn this into use client and save this now uh, the error will go away and uh, it will render our uh, params you can see our params is a one which is this if i change this to two you can see it will render the params also if you want to render the search params you can leave uh, a question mark and set it to new and equals uh, let's say this new car and uh, let's render this you can see it will render the new element let's say this you can see it will render that but how do we access uh, the search param from the server component uh, that's what we see in the next now uh, you can see we can use user use params and search use search params inside a client component but if i want to access uh, the params and search params inside a, a server component i need to pass like this params and search params 
Now, if I uh, use like this, it will render the params and the search params inside the server component without any error. So let's show you by creating uh, a server component. Let's create a folder, uh, not in this area. Let's create, let's close this first. Uh, now, inside our app, let's create a folder and let's save it to server. So inside this server, let's create another folder and let's save this to ID. Uh, inside this ID, let's add page.tsx. Uh, now we can uh, export the default. Default function server and we can access the params in the search param directly inside the parameter uh, without uh, using the use params and use search params so let's say params and uh, search params search params make sure the spelling is correct uh, if the spelling is not correct it will not render it will not uh, retrieve the search param and, uh, params correctly so make sure the Spelling is correct and uh, let's say this to any and let's give a function and uh, return. Uh, let's give this uh, and uh, let's give div and client ID. Client ID is params dot ID. And uh, if I come here and uh, again I, I can add a div another another div and uh, let's say client search client search ID which is uh, uh, in this case we can use search params dot new or anything that you specify inside the URL, you can specify it here. Uh, if I specify this uh, as gate, uh, I can specify in the URL and gate, and it will uh, give me the element uh, which is rendered inside the gate. So in this case, uh, I, I need to render the new, and let's show you. Let's go to the browser, and uh, let's go here, and uh, let's change this to server and the slash let's say this is you can see uh, the client id it it has uh, parsed the element on the server component this uh, this element and uh, let's show you how to parse uh, the search params and let's say new equals this you can see it will parse the element but if i give this uh, different name it will not render that let's say n and you can see it will not render that because i am saying this new so the name must be must the name must match inside inside this and uh, inside the code so this is uh, how you get the search params uh, using the search params and params inside the client component and uh, the server component let's move on to the next section